Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP 14-DQ model right here. And in today's video I'm going to show you guys step by step how to open it up and how you can increase the hard drive uh, size for this one. These laptops they take this model, a specific one which is an HP 14-DQ 1000 series. They uh, come with an M.2 SSD drive 256 gig. Yours might have a 500 gig. If you want to open it up and upgrade it to a 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte SSD, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. All right, before we get it started, I'm going to show you guys the tools that I use. Um, the tool that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set uh, for the screwdriver. They have one of the best screwdriver out there, which are the S2 class steel which means they are really hardened and they don't go bad after a few hundred turns and using on different screws. So they are really toughened bits. That's why I love this set. All right. And the next tool will be an opening tool. If you got the pro version of this tool set, they will provide you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a simple guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is perfectly uh, suitable for opening electronics as it has a soft edges and really tough to bend. So these tools that you're gonna need. And obviously you will need a, a M.2 SSD drive. You can grab the links on my description for one of the best brands which are the Samsung Evo. It must be an NVMe uh, SSD. So uh, I'll leave a few links in the description. You can grab the uh, top of the line NVMe's which is Samsung, or you can go a low grade with an, I will say XPG, or which is an A-Data, doesn't matter, as long as they are NVMe drives, it's gonna work totally fine. All right, to open it up, on the, you wanna power it up, and flip it upside down, and on the bottom cover, you're gonna see uh, two rubber legs, one right there, and one right over here. Now what you want to do, you want to remove these rubber legs because they're hitting the screws underneath. So go ahead and lift it up, pull it up and attach it to one side. Do the same thing on the front end. All right. Once you remove this one, now you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There are three sets of screws in here, different sizes. The corner ones, the black ones, obviously are one set. These are for the hinges. So remove these two, and the middle one and the one under the rubber and the two in the middle, these are the same size, and the others different size. The only short ones are the two in front end of the laptop. These two are the shortest ones. So keep these two and the rest separate. Go ahead and remove them. Also, I wanna thank you guys for supporting my channel. And clicking that like button, I really appreciate it. And I only see one percent of my viewers subscribing to my channel. If you guys want to support and if you find my, my content helpful, please think about subscribing and clicking that like button. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. Thank you. All right, now you can see I have three sets of screws: the black one, the long chrome one, and the short chrome screws. Next, you want to open up the laptop 90 degrees. Now you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. Now you want to just twist it. Go all in the front end, just twist. Make sure you hit those clicks. You have to do it really hard to hear those clicks. So don't worry about breaking or anything like that. Do the side and do the left side. Once you do the side and the front, close it down, flip it upside down, put your finger at the back by the hinges and grab from one side and lift it up. You might have to wiggle it around a little bit and it eventually will come out. All right, down here you're going to see a whole empty space here. You cannot put a hard drive here because the bottom cover is filled with this supports right here. So. Forget about adding an extra hard drive because you will need an adapter and you need a flex cable for that adapter that goes under the battery to the 
this hard drive, but there is not enough. You have to break these pointers, you have to break many sticks. But that's for another topic. Here, the M.2 hard drive is right over here. This one is an Optane mixed with an M.2, which is kind of useless. So what you want to do, this is a 256 gig. To remove it, there's one screw right over here to uh, remove this one. You do not need to remove the battery to upgrade this one. Simply just go ahead and remove this tiny screw. Put it to one side. Grab from the top side and bring it up in 45 degrees. There's a display one. Okay. 45 degree and then pull it out in a 45 degree angle. And there you have it. You want to, once you have the new drive in, once you have the new hard drive in uh, or SSD, make sure the notch right here has to go match the notch right on the dim. So bring it in 45 degree angle, push it all the way towards the dim and towards the motherboard. And then you want to put the screw to hold it in place. And that's how you install the new hard drive. You can put up to two terabyte NVMe drives in here with no issue. Also, I made another video how to burn your windows into USB and how to install fresh install windows on your new drive. So I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to follow. And the next step would be to grab the bottom cover, put it, align it on top and press the corner backs really hard. Make sure you do those clicks, press the sides and go ahead and make sure you do those clicks on the side. There's nothing in the middle to press. If you see any gaps opening right there, like as here, just grab it and pinch them together. And the last thing would be, press the back two. And the last step, it's to grab the bottom screws and put them in place. And again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to upgrade your hard drive. And if it did, please consider clicking that thumbs up button and consider about subscribing. It really helps the channel and I can take requests from you guys. Again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the screws.